Hey YouTube, this your girl Always Nigeria back at you today with another video. So today I am going to do an overview of the HESI assessment, um, but I'm doing just the math portion. So this is one of the guides that I used uh, to study. And as you can see, I have them tabbed off the ones that my school required me to have. I was required to have math, reading um, comprehension, critical thinking, as well as A&P. But I'm just gonna strictly focus on math in this um, video. So as you can see, math, they, the HESI book has a pretest, and then it has tons of math. So it has a breakdown of the math, like it actually explains to you how to do math problems. And then at the end of every single thing, there is short sample problems for you to do. So I'm not going to flip through every single page of that, but that is a really good tool because the people who made that book are also the ones who made the HESI exam. So obviously the material would be very relevant considering as they're the ones who make the exam. So what's on the exam obviously will come from what's in the book. Now, what I can say is don't only use the book because there will be word problems on your exam and there are no word problems um or examples of word problems in the book so don't use only one um way of studying i don't recommend that at all but i do recommend this is a very good tool now i got mine from my bookstore at school it was about 32 dollars or so um but I know that you can also get it from Amazon. I'm not sure the price of it from there because I didn't get mine from there. But um, that's another route you can take. Um, so yes, that is one of the tools that I use to study. Now, I, as you can see, have this huge folder here, which I made of all like study guides um, and things like that. Now, I am someone who's very organized and I am also someone who um loves colors and things like that to keep me interested so what i did was oh always have a trusty dandy handy calculator now all the schools i believe allow you to use a calculator however they either give you the calculator to use or you have one on your computer screen my computer i mean my school gave me like a little cheap dollar store calculator um actually funny story really quick my calculator broke um i dropped it and all the buttons literally flew everywhere. So they had to give me another calculator. That was just a quick backstory. They don't allow you to bring a calculator because your girl show would have had her um, Texas Instruments uh, calculator up in there. Definitely would have, but they don't allow it. They also don't allow phones or anything like that. So I was originally studying for the HESI and I was using tons of of notebook paper you know doing practice problems so I got smart I went and got me a little cheap five dollar um, whiteboard and some markers so this is a way for you not to have to waste so much paper you can just work out tons of problems and erase as you go um, so that's a really really good tip that I can give you guys um, so that you're not wasting tons of paper because trust me if you're studying how you should be to prepare yourself for the exam you're gonna use tons of paper. I think I went through like two notebooks before I even decided to um, get that. And also I'm someone who doesn't like to use the back of papers. I don't know why. So that's another reason why I went through so much paper. So as you can see, I am someone who's really organized. And like I said, I love colors. It keeps me motivated. Um, so I did this for each chapter that I had to do something for. So I flipped this over now. I'm not gonna go into too many details, but I do have tons of little tips and tricks um, that I wrote out. Um, tons of things like that, tons. And um, tons of practice problems that I wrote out because I'm someone who loves to be prepared. So I have packets upon packets of math problems. 
Um, like I said, you definitely want to work on word problems because there's none in the HESI book. Um, and there definitely will be some on the exam. So you want to make sure that you know those. Now, just to get into some tidbits of the actual exam. So I scored a cumulative 90%. Um, I got an 88% on the math. So you can see that I am not lying. There's the math. And I got an 88%. And there's my name so that you know. I am not lying. I took the exam. I got a cumulative of 90, 88% in the math section. Um, I would have done better. However, I kind of psyched myself out for some reason. Um, so don't do that. Um, yeah, I was kind of trying to move too fast. And just so you know, if you don't take your time and you just try to click through thinking, oh, let me race against the clock or something like that, that will count against you because you cannot go back. Um, even if you've answered a question and you thought it was wrong, you can't go back. If you skip a question, you'll never see that question again. It's automatically counted against you because you can't go back. So try and work out the problems. Definitely take advantage of the scrap paper that they give you. Um, I also recommend um, using the calculator and double checking and triple checking your work because if they give you a cheap little dollar store calculator like they gave us, um, sometimes those calculators be wrong. I was doing stuff on, by hand and getting it right and sometimes the calculator was wrong so double and triple check your work before moving on to the next question. Um, there was 55 questions for my math section and we got an hour for the math. Um, but what I would like to say is I've heard a lot of schools give you a certain time, but they also allow you to use as much time on one section as you need. But that time that you use extra is deducted from your next categories. So you do want to be mindful of that as well. Um, like I said, I had 55 questions for math. I was supposed to use an hour of my time because we had three hours to do um, all the sections. We had an hour for math, an hour for uh, reading and comprehension because that was another 55 question section 30 minutes for AMP because it was only 30 questions and then we had 30 minutes for critical thinking which um, was broken down into three sections for 10 minutes um, so yeah that's just a little backstory um, now there's tons of fractions on the exam tons of ratios and proportions word problems um, conversions I only had one military time even though they tell you to study that I, I only had one and I also didn't have any Roman numerals but that's not to say that you won't because I've heard people had them and I've also heard people had temperatures and things like that so you definitely want to study those things even though you may not personally get them but you want to be prepared because you could possibly get them so um yes that is what I had now I did carve out tons of time to study i am a 3.8 student i am going for my bachelor's um and i just gave birth seven days ago to my fourth child so i am a very busy mother um and yeah so i definitely had to carve out time because i also take six classes each semester because i am going for my bachelor's so i am taking a ton of classes so that i'll be done quicker um yeah so i just want to say carve out the time because you're gonna need it to study um don't let other classes get in the way don't let life get in the way study because that exam is very important if you do not pass the exam no matter how good your gpa is you're not going to get accepted because it is an entrance exam and they want to see what you know sorry if i'm talking fast but my baby is up and i don't want her interrupting the video so i have to kind of cut this short um but yeah, so make sure that you carve out the time. I wrote it in my agenda. I didn't care what else was going on. I made time to carve out. I don't care if I had to stay up late or whatever. I made time. Make time. Make time. Trust me. It's better to be overprepared than be underprepared because it was some people walking out of that exam in tears. You don't want that to be you. There was people who failed it for the second time. And at my school, you only get two times to fail and they will not allow you to take it at my school again. So pretty much you either have to find another school because my school doesn't allow you to take the HESI exam somewhere else and transfer your scores in. So you need to make sure that you're doing your due diligence and studying. 
um and i will be nice for you guys that do want um copies of my study guides because i am very very organized um if you like and subscribe i will send you copies of my study material in order for you to receive those study materials you will need to either either sorry either email me at always a l w a y s dot or period nigeria which is n y g e r i a at gmail.com i will need to see a screenshot that you subscribe to my channel because if you're going to support me i'm definitely going to support you i want you guys to succeed and i want my channel to grow and i want to succeed so let's support one another um or you can just simply drop the comment below saying that you subbed and show the screenshot there and that you would like me to send you copies of my study material for the math section and i will go ahead and do that but also you will need to leave your email address so that i can know where to send it to and i will do that as promptly as possible um also you can let us know what school you're applying to um which route you're taking if you're just doing the adn the lpn or the bsn let us know which one you're taking um let this be a forum. This is only for the math section. I am doing separate videos for the reading comprehension as well as separate video, a separate video for the anatomy and physiology comp um, section. I'm not going to do them all in one video because it will be too long. I did, however, do an overall assessment of the HESI. Um, I did do a video on that and I will be uploading that one as well. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, and share, and you will receive um, those materials if you would like. If you don't want the materials and you just want me to answer uh, questions, I will be more than glad to. Just email me um, or, like I said, drop the comment below. Um, but please, 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 like, subscribe. Please. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just a simple click. Subscribe, you know. You don't have to get notifications if you don't want to be bothered with me. But just, you know, help your girl out. Help your girl out and I will help you out. Um, I'm here for you guys. Be here for me. Let's just make this a give and take. Give and take. So, I'll see you next video. If you want to um, review a video of my anatomy and physiology or um, reading comprehension, I will be doing separate videos for that. So, Thank you for your time. Hope this video was not too long. I hope it answered some of your questions. Like I said, if you want those materials, email me or drop your comment below along with a screenshot showing me that you subbed. Thanks so much. Until later.